y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we're going to make classic stuffing for Thanksgiving. But before we jump into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and leave a like on this video. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and grab the ingredients. This is a very quick and simple recipe. No need to make stuffing out of a box this year. What you're gonna need for this classic Thanksgiving stuffing is, of course, bread. I'm using a rye sourdough, but you can use whatever kind of bread you prefer. Onions, carrots, celery, stock, butter, garlic, salt and pepper, fresh thyme, sage, rosemary, and parsley, and a flax egg. The flax egg is just one tablespoon of ground flax meal and three tablespoons of warm water. You let it sit and it gets all goopy like an egg. So you have a couple of options with the bread, not only what kind of bread that you want to get, but also how you want to prepare it. I suggest cutting the bread into your little cubes two days before you're going to make the stuffing, leaving it out on your counter, stirring it once a day or twice a day. That way they become naturally stale. But if you don't want to do that, you can pop them in the oven day of, get them a little crisp. That way they're kind of the same texture as stale bread. But cutting the bread for stuffing is one of those things you can do before Thanksgiving day. That way you are more prepared. I would also suggest cutting all of the vegetables before the day of Thanksgiving. I do that with all of my Thanksgiving prep. That way on the day it's super easy and you only have to mix it together like we're doing today. I already have the garlic and the onions and the carrots and the celery cut up. Also, my carrots are white and gold carrots today because I did not have any orange carrots. And you can use whatever color carrots that you want. I know most people are probably gonna have orange carrots, but I like to mix it up by rainbow carrots. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw the butter in a pan, melt that, and then throw the vegetables in just to soften them up a little bit. While they're cooking, we'll go ahead and prepare our baking dish for our stuffing. I also have my oven turned to 375. <laughs> now I'm using Miyoko's butter today, but you can use whatever your favorite vegan butter alternative is. Any kind will work for this recipe. Okay, all my butter is melted. I'm gonna throw in my garlic my onions, carrots, and my celery. Mix that around and we're gonna cook this until the vegetables just start to get a little bit soft. cooking back there down in the comments let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving this year are you seeing family are you not are you still doing Thanksgiving are you not are you even in America do you even have Thanksgiving drop it in the comments below so this is the pan that I'm going to bake my stuffing in I'm just going to spray it with some nonstick spray <laughs> that stuff kind of goes everywhere vegetables are starting to get fragrant and get a little soft. I'm going to let them cook for another minute or two and I'm going to add the salt and pepper to them now. Okay, since those are just about done, I'm going to grab a big bowl that we can toss everything in. To our big bowl, we're going to add our breadcrumbs, our herbs, and our lightly sauteed vegetables. The herbs really make it smell like it's already Thanksgiving. Next, we're gonna add our stock. And 
And lastly, we're gonna add our flax egg. This is gonna help bind everything together and make it really stick together. Now I'm gonna transfer it into our baking dish. It is still quite a bit wet right now, so I'm actually gonna let it sit on the counter for about five minutes to soak up the stock, and then we'll pop this in the oven. So while I let that sit, I'm gonna get some dishes done, and then we'll pop it in the oven. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. Okay, now I'm gonna pop this in the oven with some foil over it. And we'll bake it for the first with the foil on it and then we'll take it off and let it bake for the other half of the time. With the foil off, I'm gonna cook it for a little bit longer. Okay, we are losing light quickly because it is getting darker way earlier. So let's go ahead and finish up this recipe. I just pulled this out of the oven. And I think we should do a little taste test. to get it out of the little container without making a big mess is difficult. That is so good, so quick and easy. You don't need to make it out of a box this year. Let me know if you end up making it for your Thanksgiving dinner. I'd love to know how it turns out, what you guys think. And I will see y'all next week for a Thanksgiving vlog. All the prepping, all the getting ready that I've been doing, I've been filming so that y'all can see everything I did this year to get ready for Thanksgiving. Of course, as you always know, the full recipe for this is down below in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I've been releasing short little recipe videos over on TikTok, so definitely check that out. I am sorry that y'all can hear my boyfriend. He's being very loud in his meeting. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. Hit the like button if you like this video and share this around so everybody can have fresh homemade stuffing this year super quick and easy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.